Hello guys and uh, welcome to our brand new tutorial on um, how to auto start Elder Scrolls 2 Daggerfall. Um, I just want to show you a little demonstration of what it would look like. I presume um, that all of you, the many <laughs> countless numbers of people who've been contacting me saying how do I get it to auto start? How do I get it to auto start? Do I have to type in all this stuff every time I want to play the game? Well typically yes you do. But odd to the fact that you constantly keep asking me about it, I thought that it would be a very good idea for me to show you how you get this game to run automatically, as if it was not a DOS game and in fact some sort of Windows um, game. Anyway, the first thing you need to do is we need to find the DOSBox configuration file. For DOSBox 0.74, it's in options and then under options again. Uh, for DOSBox 0.73, I think it's under config in the same, in your start directory. Um, if you scroll to the very bottom of the file, you'll find um, a space where you, you can put at the very bottom, just copy and paste the code that I said to put in um, for the startup. Uh, we now need to save this code, um, this file, save as. Uh, you can save it anywhere you like, but it's best to save it in the file where you put your game. So this is the file where we put the game, and we're just going to rename it to something. So we'll just leave it as DOSBox 0.74, and then we'll just put DF at the end for the sake of um, simplicity. Um, right, now the next thing that we need to do uh, at this point is to find the DOSBox folder, wherever that is. Oh, actually, let's, I'll just double show you. So this is the file that we've just made there. Um, the other file that, that is present, that's the file that I made to run the demonstration. So, um, yeah, anyway, find the DOSBox file wherever it is saved on your computer. This is Windows 7. Um, you'll be pretty smart enough to find out where it is for yourself, I'm pretty sure, but you need to create a shortcut for it. Yeah, put it on your desktop, put it anywhere you want, but um, there it is. So that's now a shortcut for DOSBox. And um, just minimize that. Okay, so double click on it, loads up DOSBox just like normal. So what do we need to do now to make it work? the way that we want it to. We need to, no, we don't want to rename it. We want to um, go into the properties and you see target is basically where you can find the file. Now the, what we need to do is define the config file. So we press, press hyphen conf, so C-O-N-F, and then we find the, 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 uh, the pathway, which is that there. You can get do that by right clicking and selecting security and then we copy and paste it into the conf definition and then we close that down and then we double click this and watch because we've defined the config file to be the file that we've just written there it is it auto starts up now if you want to make it look a little bit prettier we can so let's um, rename it to daggerfall Daggerfall! Exclamation mark. Actually, best not put them exclamation marks. Um, and then we can change the icon. If we go to properties and then change icon and then browse um, wherever you save the game. So, just for education's sake, we're going to re go back into that file and there's the icon. There it is. Daggerfall. Double click it once more to double check. Everything's working just as it's supposed to be. And um, there we have it. So I hope that's so answered your questions. Um, let me know what you think. All right, bye-bye. <laughs>